I was always laughing looking at video refer carrying their tripod, video tripod this way. Well, I'm Eric Gibo and now I'm going to present you this fantastic video tripod by Small Rake. So let's start. On my YouTube channel, I've presented many tripods. Most of them or all of them were thought for photography and some of them had a head especially uh, for video. But this one is 100% thought for video. Why do we need such a big tripod? We're going to look at it, I'm going to open it, explain what it does. Well, the reason is simple. When you start to record video, uh, if you want to put accessories like a uh, mad box, like uh, the extra batteries or monitor or many things or uh, heavy lenses like uh, cine lenses or anamorphic lenses then you need something that be that, that must be really solid this one bears up to eight kilograms uh, if it was a tv camera maybe it was not would not be strong enough but for what i do that's fine uh, you'll see it with uh, many things and uh, that uh, uh, support it without any problem so let's have a look at it so it comes in a really nice transport bag. I'm going to open it here. Here you will find the tripod, okay? Uh, when you get it, you get it in plastic. I took the plastic out, okay? You have a, a special cover for the head to protect it. Here in the small uh, pocket here, you get the typical stick to move the head, not mine, the tripod's head, okay? <laughs> and then you have a small manual, some Allen keys. So if you want to tighten any screw, anything, it's possible, okay? Most tripod brings uh, this nowadays and a security for the legs, all this, and that's it. So I'm going to open it and show you how it looks and what it can do, okay? I really love the look, the way it's made. Uh, I love the small details like, like this here. You have safety locks, so uh, the legs will not open by themselves like this. You need to lock them. This is really good because many tripods, they get damaged in transport because uh, legs are not locked and uh, they press, wrong, and things like this, okay? Everything is metal, this is aluminum uh, alloy. Here you have the legs, well, of, of course there are some plastic parts, eh? okay? But the rest is this, for example, the, the lock is metal also. It's, everything is metal, this is really nice. You have three sections, and it can go up to one meter 86, which is 73 inches. I check my notes there, <laughs> I don't speak in inches, okay? Which is higher than me, and uh, it means you can uh, make a video over heads, but it depends on uh, where uh, you are, in which country you are. In some countries, everyone is over 186, okay? So, well, that's it. So I'm going to open it, and you have a look, okay? As you can see, the rubber feet, uh, you can orient them, okay? Like this. So you get really the maximum stability, okay? So to open it really easy, you uh, remove the safety locks here, okay? And then you unlock here. Always start with the thickest part, okay? Uh, any tripod. Uh, open the thinnest one only if you need it. Uh, this way you get more stability always, okay? So open here. Also, oh, one thing, one second. When I'm here, okay? This height, here is a minimum 86 centimeters, which is, uh, if I speak in inches, it is 33.4 uh, inches, okay? So then let's open it. Okay, so, okay. And open here. Okay, here I've got one meter 35, which is in inches, I'm going to tell you. Uh, 53 inches, okay? Before it was 33, now it's 53, okay? And then if I open the last leg here. Okay. One meter 86, which is uh, 73 inches. I measure 174 and a half. I used to, I think I've, I've, shr I've shrunk uh, over the years, okay? But still, it's, I guess it's really high. Obviously, you don't have to open it completely. Uh, you don't have to use it at maximum or minimum. You just open to the size you really need. So now we're going to speak about the head, okay? By the way, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so. There is a button down here, a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you. Let's carry on. So I'm going to remove the cap, okay? In there you will see there is some foam, okay? Don't throw it away, keep it in there. That protects uh, even better, okay? This is not a decoration. It's actually useful to protect your head, okay? And here I've got this stick to uh, orient it 
my uh, head, okay? So I can place it in different way, as you can see, there's some, uh, uh, it's geared here, okay? So I place it, and this way I can uh, go this way, this way, I can go 90 degrees here, 75 uh, degrees upside. Uh, obviously, if I'm going to do a lot of uh, upside, I would place it different, and this way I could uh, use it this way, okay? I place it this way and uh, here you can uh, lock it or tense it okay same for turning around here you can lock it and uh, even completely so it doesn't move anymore okay and something that is important sometimes it's hard to level the, the feet okay so for that you just uh, go, move it so you see it you just unscrew here and you can actually level exactly the head this way okay as you can see here there is a bubble level so you center it Make sure it's well centered because uh, when you look sideways, maybe it's hard. Make sure it's uh, properly centered, okay? You have a mark in there anyway. You lock it. And this way, I know that if I do panorama, it's really horizontal regardless of uh, if the feet are perfect, okay? So that, that, that's good, okay? As you can see here, there is a screw here, uh, here, also here, and several places, okay? Why? But when you do video, very often you want to have accessories like battery, monitor, or whatever. And there, there are some special stick that exist, and you can screw them in there and place your accessories. So they've placed several uh, uh, screws this way. You can actually uh, put some accessories on it. So this is uh, really, really well thought. And now we're going to have a look at the head and uh, the plate of this because it's not that simple as it looks. It's uh, really well thought. So let's carry on. The head has a dual system okay this is fantastic you can place a manfrotto head like this one or also a dji rs2 plate you know that that gimbal comes with a plate in there so you can actually place it here okay it's full safety look if i unlock here if i the camera would not fall on the floor for that it needs to be centered pull here and then i get the plate out okay really good safety and here if i'm on the this manfrotto here standard i i have this lock here if I want to use a DJI RS2, I pull there and that's it. And then I could place a different plate, which is for DJI, okay? So this is really, really well thought. The safety is really important when you work with heavy cameras. Uh, it falls really fast. So that's really good that uh, to uh, get the camera out, you need to pull this and this way, okay? But it's really fast, okay? And also if it was down, I cannot take it out. It has to be here in the center. As you can see, it's full safety, okay? I really love this. It feels really safe. So now I'm going to show you with the camera on it, okay? So for the plate, you uh, place it with your uh, finger here. You center it, okay? And then, as you can see, you have the small tool here. It's uh, safely uh, placed magnetically, okay? Make sure it's centered. It's really big because it can be for any camera. It can be a video camera or photography camera. Well, you place it, then you place it back, okay? It's uh, with magnets, you cannot lose it. Well, you can, but normally you don't lose it, okay? Okay, here, place it this way here. I can lock. And there, my camera is really safe. I want to get it out. I have to, uh, here, unlock, press this, and then it's out. So, really, really safe, really. This is what we want when we have uh, uh, expensive gear placed on a tripod like this, okay? So, this is, by the way, the Lumix uh, S5. Uh, Mark II that I will uh, present really soon on my channel, okay? I don't know when you see the video, but here it is, okay? Fantastic. Small Rig also sent me the cage for uh, this camera. Uh, so thank you so much because I get uh, the tripod for this and this to start uh, presenting the, uh, the S5 Mark II and we'll make a specific review of this uh, great cage, okay? So uh, soon I will be uh, reviewing all this, mount everything, the cage, the follow focus and everything. Okay, so thanks. So, uh, let's see if I forgot anything. Well, the weight is four kilos. That sounds a lot uh, for a tripod, but for a video tripod, that's normal. There are probably some that are lighter, maybe with carbon fiber. Some are a lot heavier, but most of them are a lot more expensive because this one is around $160 or euros. I can't remember, well, more, more or less, which is really affordable. I checked many uh, options and this is really uh, well, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic price, I must say. Anything else? Yes, there are some optional wheels. You can actually have uh, like three wheels uh, with a, it's like a triangle with a, 
uh, three wheels and you can place it under the feet there and this is fantastic because you can actually uh, move the tripod if the if the floor is really uh, uh, nice uh, not uh, bumpy that's really nice you can do uh, uh, traveling while while recording so this is really a, a good option okay so if you're interested in this tripod i'll leave you a link in the description on where you can buy it so thank you so much small rig for sending me the tripod and the cage i will present the cage really soon okay and you will see all this again very often because i'm going to use it for videos for uh, with the mad box they send me the follow focus and many things and the cage all this that i've got by a small rig okay so thank you to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button down here says small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website ericgipo.com if you have any questions can leave a comment below also leave your links of uh, my gear on amazon links of everything I reviewed by kf concept sandmark and flashes by westcott and also links uh, more affiliated links uh, small rig included and also link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much please take care of yourself and see you soon bye